good to pay for that. Loss. So quickly. I'm gonna that, do this hairstyle. Uh, I'm gonna show you first. Let me just tie this piece first. Um, ignore the towel bit and the hat bit. I'm gonna show you what it looks like first on what we're gonna do. And this is just done by straighteners and a piece of hair. Make sure the hair is wet. I've used coconut oil. I find it easier to use. So I'm going to put this back up and I'm going to show you how to do it. Okay, so that piece is off. And what I'm using is hair straighteners, which are more kills. I've find these easy to use. So what you do is you brush the piece of hair that you use, you twist it around, leave it for a couple of seconds like that, leave it a couple of seconds, let go, makes a little bit of a kink in your hair but you can't see it as much. And then let me go this side so you can see it. <laughs> so, You twist it, I'm going to leave it a little bit longer because I didn't do it. So I'm turning it up to 180. It flashes. When it stops flashing, it means that they're hot. Yeah, that noise was just me burning my mum a little bit, which I don't mean to do, as I'm not a little bit, but that'll go. Okay, so I'm going to see if that works. Yeah, it's made a little bit of a dent, as you can see. So I'll go underneath that, I'll go on it, and twist. And you continue doing that all the way down, and for the rest of the hair. Um, if you see a bit of smoke you know, coming off, it's because of the coconut oils burning a little bit. Just blow that away, because it's not going to do much. It's just saying that it's coconut oil burning. Okay. So, it's slowly forming, as you can see. So you continue doing that all the way down and your hair will turn out like that. But I'm going to redo this top piece after because that one's the hardest piece to do. So it stopped flashing, it's hot, it's on 180. I'll say that's the best to do each time. It's better to do. It's better to do, better way to finally do it. See, coconut oil starts smoking. But take no notice, it's not anything major. It's not your hair sitting on fire or anything, it's just coconut oil cooking. So nearly done. Just keep hold of the bottom piece that you're not that's wrapped around first. As you can see it's like form. Just after you've done it, it's, there's another step after you've done it to do and it's easier, I find it easier to do. Okay, so nearly done. Just got to do all that piece. 
just all this piece here. Let me take it a bit back so you can see. So, so I'm nearly done. Just got this piece to do that's wrapped around. Uh, I'm using my mum for this, so her hair is easier to use compared to mine because my hair is dead thin and it will be easy to fall out. So I'm using my mum's hair for this. I know it's my first video. <laughs> If your hair's not doing the crimp style, just get a little bit more. See? Smoke don't mean nothing. Mm, nearly done, just got a couple more to do. And then I'll show you how to do the top piece because that one's the hardest to do. Because you don't want to burn yourself doing it. <laughs> Uh, I would use the straighteners like I'm using. I wouldn't recommend any big straighteners to do it. It's harder to do. I've tried it on my hair before. It's terrible to use. The bottom piece, just push it as hard as possible. I'm using my top toe at the end so it doesn't burn as much as my arm does in moulding. Okay, I'm leaving the ends because those are easier to burn. Okay, so my hair's done. Just I do this top part. Lift. Don't go all the way around. As you can see, don't go all the way around. Don't pull it too tight or you'll lose the style. Okay, so it's done. Now you straight it down to keep the pattern. It's easy on my mum's hair because her hair's a bit compared to mine. Okay, so I'm doing the end again. Just make sure it stays. Okay, so now, now I've straightened after that. Yeah, keep it straightened. Now I'm gonna unclip and you're gonna see how much easier it is to do. Okay, if you see any white here, it's just let's go. I'm just gonna use my fingers to run through because you don't want to use a blue brush to lose it. Because you're gonna lose it. But that is the centerpiece of my mum's hair. So if you need any details on where I got the where these straighteners come from, I'll just comment down below. Bye guys.